Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his sweet and wonderful and magnificent and awesome name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Lord and God, Savior and King. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, he who was and is and is to come. Great and faithful is the Holy One, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Great and faithful is our God. How great is our God, how great is his name. He is the greatest one forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I will lead you if you will trust in me. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor to you, O King. Father, we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for your blood shed at Calvary. Thank you for your resurrection. Hallelujah, on the third day. Thank you that you have left us with the Holy Spirit, that we can have life and life more abundantly. Thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made because of your sacrifice at Calvary. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are more than conquerors because your Spirit lives in us. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask think or imagine because your spirit holy spirit allows us to do all things through you who gives us strength thank you lord jesus christ of nazareth that your mercies are new unto us every morning and because of your new mercies we are able to overcome to tread upon serpents and scorpions to, to demonstrate power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us because we walk in the fullness of your goodness thank you lord jesus christ that you first loved us that you considered us that you want to walk with us in every situation and circumstance thank you lord jesus that as we go through difficult times in other words the valley of the shadow of death we fear no evil because thou art with us your rod and staff comforts us Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that on the cross, hallelujah, you gave orders to prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have already anointed our heads with oil, oil of resurrection, oil of life, oil of healing, oil of blessing, oil of favor, oil of overflow, oil of uncommon increase, oil of love, oil of joy, oil of peace. Thank you, Lord, that there is nothing missing or broken from our lives because your oil pours and runs from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Your oil runs down to our children and our children's children. Your oil is good oil for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Lord, I thank you that it is well with our soul because of your oil. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that this day we can boast, we can celebrate. Paul says, if I will boast, I will boast in the Lord. Thank you that this day we can boast that your goodness and mercy follows us. Hallelujah, that you have prepared a place for us, a place in that place of peace, that place of comfort. Thank you, Lord, that you have prepared a table before us. You have prepared a place for us to rest. You have prepared a green pasture for us to, to, to eat and to, and to flourish in. You have prepared still waters for us to drink from. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that nothing is missing from your preparation table in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we celebrate you today, Lord. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate your uncommon love. We celebrate your preparation. We celebrate, hallelujah, your goodness and mercy towards us. Thank you, Lord, that we can celebrate. And even when we don't understand it, as I often don't, when I don't understand, O oh God Almighty, why people get raped and robbed and murdered, people have to live in fear. When, it, when I don't understand how demons and devils look like they are dominating Christians, how wickedness and wicked people with wicked hearts seem like they are the ones prospering and flourishing. God, it is not new. David asked, hallelujah, why do the heathen, heathen reign and the people imagine a vain thing? Hallelujah is in the scriptures. Hallelujah. 
David asked the question, why does his enemies prosper? Why do they seem like they're the one that is getting by? Hallelujah. And so, Lord, even today, we ask the question, why are, are, are the people who are focusing or who are embracing or who are allowing evil to be their portion seem to be getting away? Why do robbers always seem to get away most of the time, get away with, with, with destroying other people's lives? Why do the good always start seem, seem to suffer? We ask the question and we don't understand, but God, we still trust you. We still trust you. And so sometimes, Lord, it's difficult, difficult for me to ask the questions as to why these things are happening because it seem as if I don't trust your love. It seem as if I don't trust your purpose. It seem as if I don't think you are in control and that the questions are trying to get you to understand or get you to see or get you to respond to what's going on and so lord it makes me uncomfortable sometimes when i don't understand and i and I, I i begin to wonder in my mind who defends the defenseless and i already know in my head i know in my heart that it is you uh, but Lord, when it doesn't seem like they're being defended, when it seems like they're more being offended and, and destroyed than defended, the questions come and the confusion come and so many more people are asking, so many more people, Lord, to be honest, are turning to evil because it looks to them like the evil ones are the ones that flourish. Ah, God, help us, Lord, in this season. Help us in this season to see through your eyes, to hear with your ears, to speak with your mouth, to think with your mind. Hallelujah. Help us in this season, O oh God, not to be confused, despondent, disillusioned, discouraged, but help us, O oh God, to be edified, exhorted, and comforted by your spirit to go forth and to be and to do for your good pleasure. Lord Jesus, help us to understand why it would seem as if those who are seeking to follow you, to walk according to your will and purpose, constantly comes under physical and emotional and psychological uh, and spiritual attacks, O oh God Almighty. Help us to understand, O oh God. Uh, Father, we see in your word where those who walked according to your will and purpose were thrown to lions and, 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 and wild animals, hallelujah, in the arenas. They were used as, as sport, as game. And so we understand, O oh God, that those who sign up to walk with you sign up to be martyrs, sign up to be abused and confused, sign up to be, hallelujah, refused and, and rejected by the world but Lord it is sometimes difficult so help us to understand help us to understand help us to continue to to to, to walk holy and upright before you help us in the midst of the fire like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego to be confident that even if we don't see you that you are there with us help us like Daniel O God Almighty to be confident that as he walks into the lion's den hallelujah or as he falls into the lion's den at the hands of evil men that god you will protect him you will cushion his fall and you'll make sure that the, the lions does not eat him help us oh god to stand in that level of confidence hallelujah that you will deliver help us to be so confident oh god that we will be like gideon when the mighty army of over thirty thousand were coming ah when he looked and saw just his 300 he knew that God, you were with him and that he would still prevail. And so, Lord, help us. Help us to be as confident as Gideon, as confident as Paul and Silas in the dungeon, as confident as Peter in the cell, knowing that if he wakes up in the morning, his captors are going to kill him. Help us to be confident, O God, and not fearful, not worried, not doubting. Help us, O God, in this season to know that no matter what they try, no matter how hard they press, no matter what they do and what they say, we will be victorious because our victory is not won by our efforts. It is already won by you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Lord, I thank you this morning that this it is well with our souls. It is well because you said so. It is well because of what you are doing and how you are doing it. It is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Eternal Father, we say to you this day, bless our land. Bless our land, O God. 
bless our land come on people of god you got to declare this morning regardless of which nation you are from i am asking you this morning to just say with me eternal father bless our land you can say bless my land hallelujah bless my nation bless my country guard us with your mighty hand oh father keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours oh father to our leaders to our politicians to our leaders of industry to our leaders of church to our leaders of community to our leaders of family oh great defenders great, great defender grant them true wisdom from above wisdom that is pure and clean wisdom that is righteous grant them true wisdom from above let justice and truth be ours forever in this nation in this land that you love and then you can call the name of your nation oh we say oh jamaica jamaica land that you love sister quenda you can say oh united states of america the land that you love oh god come on sister uh, jacqueline you can say oh great britain oh land of england the land that you love oh god sister sharika oh australia the land that you love uh those of you no matter where you are from no matter where you are you can declare your nation the land that god loves hallelujah and so i say jamaica 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 land that you love lord jesus christ teach us oh god true respect for all true respect for all hallelujah regardless of color regardless of socioeconomic position regardless of of, of of what we look like whether we are fat or slim hallelujah regardless of whether we are married or single regardless of whether we are saved or unsaved teach us true respect for all stir our response to duty's call the duty of salvation for others the duty of loving our neighbor as ourselves and loving the lord god almighty with all our heart mind soul and strength our father teach us true respect for all and stir our response to duty's call strengthen us the weak to cherish for lord there are so many that are weak so many that are defenseless so many that do not know how to survive each day hallelujah teach us how to cherish the weak hallelujah and give us vision lest we perish vision O oh god for lack of knowledge for lack of vision hallelujah the people will not make it lord let vision be our portion in our nation vision give us vision give us vision oh god for our politicians vision for our leaders in church vision for our leaders in the family in the home vision oh god give us vision lest we perish knowledge is important knowledge of you knowledge of what to do knowledge of where to go knowledge of what we must be give us knowledge oh god almighty hallelujah send us knowledge from above and let justice and truth be ours justify us O god justify our nation in this season justify our people in this season let justice and truth be ours forever in this land that you love O america O great britain O jamaica O trinidad O australia O colombia O india O china O australia up oh hallelujah russia O Ukraine, O Haiti, hallelujah, O Cuba, O Sudan, O Ethiopia, O Nigeria, O South Africa, O Switzerland, Sweden, hallelujah, Lithuania, O land that you love. Every continent, O God, have people that you love. Every continent was made by you. Every land is a land that you love because you forged it with your words hallelujah 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 and so lord this morning we ask that you will take full control take dominion over every element and aspect of this time in your presence this time hallelujah at your feet this time of seeking you take full control oh mighty god of israel we ask oh god that you will bless cover guard and keep the nation of israel 
hallelujah these are tumultuous times their enemies have surrounded them but lord you said we are to pay for pray for the peace of jerusalem you said those here you made that promise to abraham that those who bless him you will bless them and those who curse him you will curse them and israel is the descendant uh even the very nation is the descendant from the loins of abraham hallelujah and so lord god almighty we pray this morning that we that we will come in agreement with your word to bless and to declare peace over jerusalem peace oh god almighty peace not just peace from war but peace from the war of their spirit peace from the war in their souls peace oh god almighty from the battle that they fight to resist hallelujah accepting jesus christ of nazareth as the messiah yeshua the Mashiach of nazareth lord may peace be in the hearts and minds of all the religious groups and all the agnostics and atheists that exist in the motherland of israel oh god may peace be in their hearts peace oh god almighty that they will understand that peace is not just when rockets are not coming at them when guns are not being fired when protests are not happening when stones are not being flung at the security forces but peace is when there is the jesus christ peace that is in their hearts a peace that passes all understanding a peace that is greater than a peace from war a peace that is from you oh god almighty i pray that your peace the peace of your heart will be upon the nation of israel even as we desire for it to be upon the nations of the world hallelujah lord we speak peace we pray for peace in the nation of haiti we pray for peace in the nation of the ukraine we pray for peace in in in, in russia peace in the nations of africa that are at war we pray for peace in myanmar peace O god almighty hallelujah in all nations that have turmoil peace in the places where cartels and gangs and crime and violence is dominant father we pray peace 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 to the hearts of the people who are completely hallelujah gripped by fear we pray for their peace this day in the name of jesus christ of nazareth have thine own way O lord god almighty let the principalities and powers of war and crime and violence and corruption and disruption and evil concupiscence let the peace of god reign over those principalities let the peace of god push away those principalities in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and i thank you lord hallelujah that it is well it is well it is well because you are in control we depend on you god if when we call upon you for help when we call on you for reinforcements you are not there then we are at the mercy of lucifer and his demons and devils and so father you did not die on the cross that we can be lost you died on the cross that we will be victorious and so lord let your victory be our portion today let your victory be our portion today in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth let no household right now that is joined that is uh, connected hallelujah to this altar of the fourth watch hour let no family oh god experience negativity experience demonic oppression experience pain and loss experience poverty lack and insufficiency experience spiritual lethargy and slothfulness lord god almighty let no family let no household hallelujah that is engaged in this time and in this season that trust you that trust to wake up early and to and to and to worship hallelujah in this under this green tree called the fourth watch hour let no family be disappointed oh father god let the spirit of jesus christ of nazareth be manifested to the glory of the father in heaven in the name of jesus christ thank you lord god almighty that we are blessed to be a blessing wherever we go and in whatever we do thank you lord that this day is a blessed day because you have made it so a day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in we rejoice in you we rejoice in you we rejoice in you lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 to our king you are great and you are almighty all honor all praise to you 
O King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you as we say good morning, Holy Spirit, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Have your way, Holy Spirit of God. We give you this day and we say into your hands we place our lives, we place our family, we place our community, we place, place our nation into your hands holy spirit because none that you have received have you lost and so holy spirit you are welcomed here come flood this place and fill this atmosphere your glory O lord is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence overcome us with your presence holy spirit minister to us and minister through us even now because we desire to walk with you we desire to hear from you. We desire to be led by you. For those who are led by the Spirit are truly sons of the Most High God. Lord, we want to be nothing less than sons of the Most High God. And so, Holy Spirit, we shut off all of our thought processes. We shut down our free will. And we say, take dominion. Take control. Lead us into the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Lead us, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I say good morning to you, pleasant sons and daughters of the Most High God. Good morning to those of you on Instagram. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Those of you on Facebook, take a look. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's too early for you to cook. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Love you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, my sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. Bless you. Good morning to those of you on TikTok. Hallelujah. TikTok family. Hallelujah. Salute you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say good morning to pastors Juliet and Noel Campbell. Hallelujah. Of Arrows Internet Radio and the Arrows listeners. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. They are from all over the nations. Over, over 70 countries represented on Arrows Internet Radio. And we are represented in the fourth watch hour to all these nations through Arrows Internet Radio. And so we greet you. Uh, pastors in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and we pray that arrows will continue to expand enlarge increase hallelujah your borders and territories will exceed your expectations the blessings of the lord that make rich and add no sorrow will be your portion in this season and will cause arrows internet radio to be a voice that brings the gospel to the corners and crevices of the world that jesus may come in the right time and season and so i bless you arrows internet radio and i bless all those who work for the station and those who listen to the station i bless you and i declare god's favor god's health and strength god's prosperity and good success over you and over your families in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 and so as we start out this morning i want us to continue to just uh, practice to prophesy practice to prophesy come on glory to god we got to prophesy and to declare that we are blessed today we are highly favored today come on hallelujah just begin to warm up and just begin to prophesy just begin to say lord let your word be in my mouth that as i speak i speak not of flesh i speak not according to what the world requires of me or what i require of the world but i speak according to what is required by you what my spirit hallelujah which is connected to your spirit desire to say concerning me concerning my family concerning my community concerning my nation concerning even the nations of the world may my mouth open and my tongue engage with my spirit and i speak as an oracle of the lord over my life and over everything that concerns me may this day O god almighty may i be like saul who was who when he was numbered among the company of the prophets prophesied accurately may i prophesy accurately a rhema word over my life over my family over my community over my nation and even over my over the nations of the world today in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Father, may my mind be the mind of Christ that I think and speak as you lead in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we declare it, so it is. God has given us the tongue of the learned, the tongue of the as the pen of a ready writer. He has caused our hands to be like Hallelujah. Hands that war and fingers that fight. He has caused our feet to be like hinds feet, that we can run and not be weary and walk and not faint. We can run through troops and leap over walls. We are invincible. Hallelujah, because we are submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against us can prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned. Hallelujah, our family is blessed because they are the seed of the righteous. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare that we are more than conquerors through him who love us. I prophesy to every person hearing my voice this morning, every person hearing me delayed or live, I declare that as long as you have submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, as long as Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Lord, I prophesy that you are healthy, that you are strong, that you are blessed, that you are delivered from every evil concupiscence, every evil spirit that desires to attack you and to attack your household I declare you delivered I declare a shield of fire I prophesy a shield of fire round about you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that angels encamp round about your house round about your job round about your business uh, to protect you from all plots plans schemes and traps of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that you are healthy, that you are surrendered, that you are submitted, that you are repentant, that you are in a constant state of repentance and you pray without ceasing. I prophesy that you have a desire for the word of God that is unquenchable, that every day you speak God's word, you declare God's word, you prophesy God's word over your situations and circumstances, that God's word is like breath to your body, like blood to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's word is like vision is like hearing hallelujah and that you are immersed in God's word that you live by God's word that God's word is what is your food in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that the mind of Christ is where you think from I prophesy that the Spirit of the Lord is upon each and every one of you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding as the spirit of counsel and might as the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord I prophesy this day that the Spirit of the Lord is in each and every one of us manifesting as the spirit as the fruit of the spirit uh, and demonstrating the gifts of the spirit uh, I prophesy that there shall be none greater hallelujah as the Lord God Almighty said to Joshua wherever you go wherever you stand no man hallelujah shall stand against you none shall be victorious over you hallelujah and wherever the soles of your feet trod you shall own i prophesy that which god said to joshua over you this morning according to joshua 1 hallelujah i prophesy that your borders are enlarged and your territories are expanded in the name of jesus christ as the lord blessed abraham with territories with great uh, places of, 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 of wealth and prosperity and things hallelujah so I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ that you will expand and enlarge and increase I curse poverty lack and insufficiency out of your life out of your bloodline back and forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I curse every sickness and disease I prophesy to them now and I command every sickness and every disease to go from your life and from your bloodline in the name of Jesus your children and your children's children will not die from generational curses, generational infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I uproot every generational infirmity, cancer, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis, every infirmity of the generational curse. I uproot from your bloodline. I uproot from your DNA. I uproot from the umbilical cord of your mother and from the sperm of your father. I uproot it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I declare that you shall live as a child of God you shall live as one anointed and appointed you shall live as one who is healthy and wealthy you shall live as one who is wise and a prize you shall live as one who carries the blood of Yeshua the Amashiach of Nazareth and live as one who walks in the body and the fullness of the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ I prophesy 
to your children and to your children's children even now that there shall be a generation of wealth a generation of prosperity a generation of good success in your lineage in the name of Jesus Christ your descendants shall know and worship God I prophesy that you are, you are blessed and highly favored that you walk in the fullness of God's goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if you are hearing me right now and you are a child of God submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I speak a turnaround. I speak a shift. I speak a change in your health position, in your financial position, in your spiritual position. I prophesy to any demonic force that has been operating against your purpose. And I say, die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any demonic force working against your purpose, working as a result of rejection, and forgiveness, abandonment, anger, frustration, depression, or any form of abuse. I uproot that now and I destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any spirit of low self-esteem, uh, discouragement that will stop you from pressing towards the mark of the high calling to which God has called you, I curse that now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy that you, Fort Watch family member, every one of you, as you have covered to walk with Jesus during this hour, in this time, and in this family. I prophesy that you are blessed. I prophesy that you are never cursed. I prophesy that you will flourish, that you will prosper, that you will increase, that you will do great things and great things will be done for you. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that you shall not die untimely death, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I declare that you are the blessed of God, the highly favored of God, the anointed of God. You're a trophy on God's mantle. You are seen every day by God and covered, protected, guarded, and kept by the Lord Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit every day in the name of Jesus. You shall lack no good thing you shall not never know lack but the hand of the Lord shall be upon you around you in you and through you every minute of every day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that you shall be one that speaks from the place of peace and joy and love in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that every person hearing my voice now shall carry the purity of the spirit of the living God and to the pure all things are pure I prophesy Prophesy that every person hearing my voice now shall be a person of faith, great faith, powerful faith. For anything that is not of faith is sin. With faith, by faith, we please God. And so I prophesy that faith is our portion, the gift of faith, the gift of faith in the name of Jesus. I release the gift of faith upon you now that you may please God in everything that you do and say and, and are. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that the gift of love, the gift of the liquid love of God is pouring upon each and every one of us right now that we will love like Jesus desires for us to love uh, unconditionally, that we will love God with every fiber of our being, that we will love him and keep his commands and we will love our neighbors as ourselves. I prophesy that it is well with our souls because we have submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God most high. That is now my, that's my prophecy over you. That's my prayer. Hallelujah. I, 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 hallelujah. I, I am moving. I haven't stopped praying, but I have come to realize that God wants us to stand in our authority. And our authority is not demonstrated necessarily all the time by, by our prayer, but by our confidence in who God is in us. And when God is in us, we speak from God's lips. And God doesn't pray to God. God declares what God says, what is in God's heart. Amen. And so that's why we want to practice, guys. I'm keep, I keep saying it. I hope that we get it. And I hope that we become uh, more mature in it. That as we, we, we change, we, we balance. Listen, I'm not saying stop praying. 
There are times when we need to pray. But as we grow, as we mature, come on, we want to learn that God says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Come on. And those who declare it, those who do what their tongue says will eat the fruit of it, good or bad. And so we must start prophesying to the things, believing that it is God that is in us, that is speaking. Amen? And so I want it to become second nature to us. So I'm not going to stop practicing it until we become proficient. Proficient, proficient. And so our prayers will change. So when we pray, we will say, Father, I thank you that you have given me power to prophesy into my situations. I thank you, Lord, that you have given me power to prophesy to sickness and disease, that they will go. I thank you, Lord, that you have given me the power and the confidence and the faith uh, to prophesy to the mountains in my life that they will be removed and cast into the sea. I thank you, Lord, that you have given me power to prophesy to the dead trees in my life that are not bearing any fruit, uh, and they will be uprooted and cast into the play, into the wilderness. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you have given me the power to prophesy over my children and over my children's children, uh, to prophesy their future, to prophesy that they were foreknown by you, uh, to prophesy that you have called them, that prophesy that you have justified them, to prophesy that you have glorified them. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that no weapon formed against my children can prosper because I prophesy that they are blessed. I prophesy that they are highly favored. Are you following me, guys? Hallelujah. If we get this, our prayer life will change and our attitude, hallelujah, in the realm of the spirit and the natural will change. We will then begin to take dominion. We have to practice what allows us to be powerful and mighty through God. You got to prophesy to your day. Don't pray and ask God to fix your day. God has already fixed you. You must fix your day. Come on, glory to God. And I'm not saying that you have become God, but you've become like God because God lives in you. And so your day belongs to you. We normally, before now, before this revelation of what God wants us to do, we normally pray and say, God, send angels to cover my day. Lord, bless my day that it will be a good day. Bless my job. Bless my business that today I will get many customers and all these kinds of things. And God is saying, okay, that's good. That's good. That's all right. But that's baby. That's baby stuff. When my son was six years old, he would say, Daddy, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, Daddy, may I have so-and-so? Daddy, can you do so-and-so? Now that he's 11, a lot of the things that he used to ask to be done for him, he has to start doing them himself. He's not a grown man. He doesn't work or bring anything in, but now he gets things for himself in a lot of instances. And with every year that he grows and gets older, he must become more and more independent. It's the same principle, people of God. Hear me carefully. I hear my heart. Don't let the enemy distract you into thinking anything negative. Nothing is negative about what I'm trying to impart to us. All of us, including myself, as we get older, we must become more confident and more like sons. Amen. Hallelujah. I am going to teach. I am going to teach by the Holy Spirit the people of God how to live differently. We are too dependent on pastors and apostles and prophets and teachers. We chase after them, and only they. And we're in awe. Only they have anointing. Only they, only what they say goes. I'm not knocking them. I love them. I like to get a prophetic word like anybody else. But I'm saying to you, a prophet is never going to always be in your pocket. A prophet is never always going to be on your live. A prophet is never always going to be at your church. A prophet is never always going to be available to you because other people want their attention as well. And so as the younger people that are coming up in God run to the prophets, you you must run to the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing me? We've been saved for too long to still be chasing after a prophetic word when there's a prophetic word already in our spirit. The same spirit that causes that prophet to see and to hear and to say, hallelujah, that same spirit is in us. Am I there yet personally for me? No, I'm not there yet. 
but I'm not going to let God go until he bless me. Are you hearing me? I'm not letting God go. So I'm not ashamed to tell you that there are much that I would like to say that I don't know yet how to say. There's much I'd like to see that I'm not seeing. There's much that I'd like to hear that I'm not hearing, but I'm not letting go. I'm going to keep pressing and pressing until when I open my mouth to speak, I hear God with power. I hear God by fire. I hear God with thunder. I hear God by lightning I hear God with precision coming out of my mouth hallelujah because if we ask we shall receive if we seek we shall find if we knock he shall open and let us in and so we just got to show God that we are faithful to persevere. Jacob said, I don't care what you do to me. Kill me if you want, but I'm not letting you go until you bless me. Can I get some Jacobs in this place this morning? Can I get some Jacob that will say, God, I'm not going to stop prophesying over my life. I'm not going to stop prophesying that I am the healed of God. I'm not going to stop prophesying that I'm the blessed of God. I'm not going to stop prophesying that I am wealthy in God, that God shall supply my needs according to his riches in glory. I'm not going to stop prophesying that in do, even though the, my children are in a school where witches and warlocks, demons and devils, baphomets are in there that my child shall still arise as a child of God, as a mighty warrior for God. My child shall not be contaminated in their systems and processes. My child shall be shielded by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on somebody. Are you getting what I'm saying? We have to be committed like Jacob that no matter what happens, no matter how much sleep we lose, no matter how much bags under our eyes, it's not about beauty, it's about duty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 And so we got to prophesy. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. What I'm saying is not popular. It's not popular or hundreds, thousands of people would be on our life, in our family because they would be excited and they would be hearing what they're going to get and how they're going to how they're going to be blessed and how many houses and what kind of nice things and who 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 they'll hear who, who work witchcraft on them and who stole their man and whatever. No, no, I'm sorry. That's not what God has called me to do. And I make no apology for it. God has called me to teach those who are faithful to walk in victory by what they prophesy, by how they live righteousness, holiness, and truth at the forefront of our existence. I'm going to tell you, you cannot be embracing sin, wickedness, evil, and then expect that God's going to say, go girl, here you go, here's your healing, here's your deliverance. Here is your financial breakthrough. Because then he would be saying to you, no matter what you do, I'll still bless you. So why should you do anything good? Why should you obey him? Why should you desire to be holy as he is holy? Why should you embrace his righteousness when unrighteousness is still getting the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow? That's not how it goes. We pay a price for whatever we do. We pay a price for the anointing, for the power, for the glory of God to be manifested through us. And we pay a price when we choose to manifest the evil of Satan. There's a price to pay either way. There's a price to pay either way. Which price will you and I pay? Will we pay the price like Jacob? Or will we pay the price like Esau? Who for one moment of hunger sold his birthright will we sell our birthright for a time of joy to have access to the nations of the world like lucifer promised jesus will we sell our birthright because we're hungry to turn stone into bread will we sell our birthright by not prophesying according to the will of god over our lives over our family over our descendants. It is not negative or bad to be numbered among a small group. Jesus called the twelve and though many others came, they never was allowed to penetrate the small group. They stayed because they had a heart 
that was not right. And so when Jesus gave them a challenge, when Jesus spoke a truth, they ran. To this day, truth still turn away more people than it draws. Can I just talk truth to you this morning? The truth of God's righteousness, holiness, and truth still push away more people who say they are of God. The 70 was more than the 12. The 70 was more than the 12. If Jesus was after a large crowd, he would have chased after the 70 and said, please, please, I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm sorry, you don't have to eat my body or drink my blood anymore. You won't have to. That's okay. Come, 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 please. I don't want my church mash up. I will tell you anything you want to hear so that you can stay and bring your tithe and offering. So that you can stay and say, Amen. Hallelujah. So you can stay that people will pass church and look in and say, Wow, this church is successful. There are so many people there. Wow. I was passing on the live and I looked and I saw, My God, look how many people following Pastor Wade. Look how many people following Donet. Look how many people following Sandra or Hannah or O'Neill. Look how many people, my God, they must be, he, he or she must be so wonderful, so amazing, so brilliant. People of God, you don't have to be wonderful or brilliant or righteous to get huge followings today. As a matter of fact, the more disgusting, the more despicable, the more uh, cant cantankerous and conniving you are, is the more people follow you. More people are representatives of the 70 who do not want the things of God than the 12 who said, where shall we go? You have the word of life. You are God. And so don't get excited about numbers. Get excited about presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we must prophesy, people of God. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Not that more people will run to us, but that the Spirit of God will emanate from us and such as ought to be saved will be saved if we behave amen hallelujah praise god and so i want to just take a couple of minutes hallelujah hey it's not about the numbers it's about mission and purpose that's right sister lisa that's it and so we must understand that because our motives often are corrupted by the need for, 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 for to be proud to say yes I have hundreds of people following me or by the monies that will come by the likes and the and the whatever we get distracted by that and begin to say what people want to hear catering to itching ears we're not standing on righteousness holiness and truth as we should consistently it's haphazard because we want to draw crowd John and Jesus didn't want to draw a crowd. Crowd came because there are still many people who are drawn to the things that are right. It's just harder because Satan is always trying to block them. So we're good because we have chosen the right path. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So come on, let's take about a minute or two excuse me, and just prophesy, prophesy over your life. Now, I have prophesied over you. Now it's your turn to prophesy over your life because you got to become proficient as the prophet over your own life. So come on, one, two, begin to prophesy. Begin to speak over your life. Speak that wife into your life, brother O'Neill. Come on, call her forth. Call her forth according to the qualities that you want. You sense God saying to you, come on, hallelujah. Call forth that husband, single ladies. Call forth that husband. Call forth forth that blessing call forth that ministry call forth that anointing call it forth that be not as though it were in the mighty name of jesus christ i prophesy this day that my son and my daughter are blessed and highly favored they are free from every demonic assignment every demonic attack in the name of jesus i prophesy that darian and athena are covered under the armor of god i prophesy that they shall not die but live to declare the works of the lord i prophesy that my children and 
and my children's children shall live as righteous, holy, and true according to the will and purpose of God. I prophesy that my children shall love the word of God, shall love the presence of God, and they shall walk in greater levels of anointing and power than I could ever dream or think of in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that my wife is an amazing woman of God. A Proverbs 31 wife times 10 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that every plan, scheme, and trap of the, of the enemy against my wife's health, against her mind, against her mental health, against her her emotional health is destroyed by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ every demonic assignment from the past against my wife uh from 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 the present from witches and warlocks from demons and devils uh, will meet upon a wall of fire even as the children of israel met upon the wall of jericho so shall the enemies of my wife and my marriage face the fire and the wrath of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that the gift of the grace of a great marriage is upon my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am strong. I have the mind of Christ. I am more than a conqueror. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am blessed to be a blessing. I prophesy that my marriage is sealed by the blood of Jesus and we are bind together with a cord that cannot be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that everything that I need for life and godliness has been released unto me now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that everything that was stolen from me and from my father and my father's father, ten generations back on my father's side and my mother's side, everything that was stolen from my generation and is hiding in the second heaven or under the ocean, I go for it now like David at Ziklag, and I pursue, overtake, and recover all wealth, prosperity, and good success that have sunken under the sea that belongs to me. I call it forth now. Come to me now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and prophesy that I am wealthy in spiritual things and natural things. Hallelujah. The gift of the grace of a great ministry is my portion and the portion of my generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that Liberty for Living Ministries shall be known across the world as a ministry that upholds righteousness, holiness, and truth of God. I prophesy that Liberty for Living Ministries shall attract men and women and children, families, hallelujah, evangelists, prophets, apostles, pastors, teachers uh, shall rise up out of Liberty for Living Ministries. I prophesy that we shall liberate every single demonic force that are operating wantonly across nation and nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Every immoral spirit, every infirmity spirit, every demonic assignment, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places shall bow at the very word that comes out of Liberty for Living Ministries in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that there's a hedge of fire around Liberty for Living Ministries International and we shall go international and many shall seek, hallelujah, to come to us or to invite us to minister the truth and the power of the living God in their spaces. I prophesy that we shall lack no good thing in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that my hands shall heal, my words shall reveal, my eyes shall see with discernment in the realm of the spirit and in the natural. My ears shall hear the voice of God and another will not contaminate the words of the Lord. I prophesy that my mind is the mind of Christ and I shall think and speak as Christ desires. I prophesy that my soul is magnifying the Lord and is submitted and subdued by the Spirit of the living God. I prophesy that my body is strong. I shall not grow old but like a Hallelujah, like Caleb, I shall stand strong even at 80 and be as strong as I was at 40. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that I am healthy and whole, magnificent, 
blessed, highly favored, prosperous, successful in every area of my life, every area of my marriage, every area as a father, every area as a son. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that my mother, my aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces and nephews, sisters and brothers are blessed to flourish, blessed to prosper. No untimely death shall come nigh any of my generations from my mother's side or my father's side. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that my family shall flourish and we shall have yearly uh, annual reunions and all shall be well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Give your prophetic voice a round of applause and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that what I have prophesied shall come to pass in this now time and now season in Jesus mighty name. Glory to God most high. I see, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying to me, hallelujah that he's pleased that he can see the growth he can see the level of confidence that is taking place come on somebody you can agree with that come on hallelujah i see where some of you god is showing me whoa i'm telling you i'm getting goosebumps because the angels is, are saying go ahead man of god speak speak hallelujah i see where some of you god is showing me some of you that you've become so proficient at prophesying that it's just flowing off your tongue now it's just flowing it's just flowing it's just flowing you're just speaking to situations and it's not you're not apprehensive anymore like you used to be you're not book shuffling trying to 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 determine what you must say but now you are a confident child of god and god is pleased god is pleased that you are growing in confidence that you are speaking now with great uh, accuracy and great power and great confidence and god is clapping you god is clapping you people of god god is saying this is what i have been desiring from my people that you will stand in the confidence in the boldness hallelujah of who i am in you and through you and so i'm saying to your people of god watch out because god's gonna manifest great glory out of your mouth in the name of jesus christ just keep going man hold on do not let go until you see the blessings hallelujah hallelujah amen and so i encourage you this morning god is pleased with how much you have grown how much you have started to prophesy confidently over your situations and circumstances there's still some people who are not necessarily sold fully yet you're doing it but it, it's not with the level of confidence that you should and god is saying that's all right you will get there just keep going just keep pressing keep pressing keep pressing and it shall be so hallelujah her sister done it so my boys shall be priests in their homes in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth that's right guys you shall have what you say that's what the bible says if we believe the bible then we must know that God cannot lie. We shall have what we say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Come on. Hallelujah. And we must eat the fruit of it. And if we're going to eat the fruit of it anyway, why not make sure that we enjoy it? Why not it be a, a nice mix of mangoes and apples and grapes and all these things? Come on. Hallelujah. Good fruit. Not rotten fruit. Not maggot infested fruit but good healthy fruit let's speak the truth about good fruit and enjoy it by the will and purpose of god amen and so i hope that you prophesied over your business your business ideas prophesy that uh, your 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 um your creative ideas will come to pass uh, pastor marsha is the creative ideas person in this family she has um, a book patwa tales i prophesy that patwa tales shall arise it is it is it is it has taken a step back for a minute but i prophesy that it is only like an arrow that has been pulled back and is about to be launched anew into great places and great situations and great circumstances and whatever the devil has done to cause 
patwa tales to be in a jail i declare that today is the day of the shaking today is the day when the angels will be released to cut off the chains and to release patwa tales from those that it was chained to from the dungeon that it was hiding in i release patwa tales like an archer releases an arrow into greatness into sales into acceptance i release patwa tales from the ministry of education and i declare patwa tales shall find the schools in great numbers in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that patwa tales shall be a best-selling book it shall impact this generation and generations to come in the mighty name of jesus christ i prophesy that the poetry ah the concerts the performances that inspire and encourage others to 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 call upon their own gifts talents and abilities that Marsha does shall take off it shall be invited to go to nations of the world especially the caribbean in the in the in the first instance hallelujah that so it shall travel the world hallelujah shall travel with a team that so it shall become a package a product that has its own marketing and sales and divisions that 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 supports it in the name of jesus its own band hallelujah Marsha weird movement band in the mighty name of jesus christ i prophesy that there shall be no limits to what god will do with the gifts talents and abilities that he has given to Marsha wade in jesus mighty name and no weapon no weapon formed against them shall prosper i cut off and destroy every Every plot, plan, scheme, and trap, every tentacle, every octopus tentacle, every serpent wrapped around Patwa tails and, and the poetry of Marsha Wade movement. I sever their hands and their heads with the sword of the spirit this morning, and I declare freedom to flourish, freedom to prosper, freedom to exceed expectations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Lord, that it is well and a takeoff. Hallelujah. I hear the voice of the Lord. In the in the from the control tower says you have been cleared for takeoff. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Patwa tales you've been cleared for takeoff. Soetry, Marsha Wade movement you've been cleared for takeoff. Women without blemish you've been cleared for takeoff. Come on, glory to God. Liberty for Living Ministries you've been cleared for takeoff. What's been cleared for takeoff for you this morning? Come on. You are the one that have to speak it. The mic is before you. The radio is before you. What has been cleared for takeoff? Come on, declare it. Hallelujah. Zander distributors, you have been cleared for takeoff. You've been taxiing for a while and the benefits of taxiing have been seen. But now you got to take off. Come on, people of God. Speak to, come on, Kitty's Nurture Cottage. Come on, speak into that mic and command Kitty's Nurture Cottage to take off. Where are the other businesses that are about to take off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? As you line up behind each other with your comments, line, that's like the under the planes on the tarmac taxi and about to take off what's about to take off for you i feel the presence of god what is about to take off for you you are the one that is in the tower and you are the pilot hallelujah hallelujah and so come on give the instructions come on what business do you have what ideas do you have what ministry do you have command it to taxi and take off now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth only you can speak into your own situation aggressively and consistently and faithfully that it will not just take off but it will take off and soar it will go beyond where the enemies can reach it hallelujah 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 come on somebody get excited about what god is doing today for god is a good god yes he is hallelujah 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 glory be to god almighty hallelujah praise jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah praise be to the name of the holy one of israel hallelujah 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 that's it hallelujah kitty's kitty's nurture, nurture cottage on um on instagram says space space she wants increased space hallelujah to take off and get more children to come to that school we prophesy in agreement with you woman of god i speak space i speak increase i speak increase in the same way 
Hallelujah. That Liberty for Living Ministries now need a bigger space. I speak that bigger space. I call forth, hallelujah, the one million U.S. Desire, desired to buy this bigger space and to set up, hallelujah, a, 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 a complex that will demonstrate the glory of God. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Prophesy with me. One million U.S. to Liberty for Living Ministries to get that complex that will bring, hallelujah, glory to the Lord Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. It's not for man. Hallelujah. No other name shall be glorified in this project but the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, hallelujah. Glory to God. You want to prophesy for us? Prophesy that the one million US dollars will come that will purchase and build or purchase and renovate this building that will be a complex for God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. As it was with Moses and the tabernacle, as it was with Solomon and the temple, so let it be with the temple of God for Liberty for Living Ministries International. It has gone forth and it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Remember, if you truly want to tap into something, if you want to sow into something that is powerful, something that is a blessing, you know, a, a, a friend of ours, hallelujah uh has been you know just so diligent without looking for anything have just been sowing into the things and into our lives um from 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 what little she has and i'm not encouraging i'm not asking i'm not begging for anyone to give us anything listen god has been faithful faithful every single time so please don't ever think that when i testify of these things or say anything that i'm now starting to say come on you got to give me something and you got to sow no, uh -uh. no. i will ask for seed and sowing at different points in time but only for the glory of god only for the glory of god are you hearing me but i'm just saying to you that god has established us and this ministry as a as as, as a fertile ground and and this woman of god is just god is just as as she sowed even out of her little god is just repaying and pouring upon her now till i am concerned for her that she's not going to be able to manage the overflow that God is giving because he promised and he's faithful he says if you bring your tithe and offering into my house in other words bring your seed bring your blessing bring a portion of what I've given you into my house that there might be meat in my house see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you that you will not what have room enough to receive it room enough to receive it I know a man of God that even before any of this, before any of this, when I was just a regular man going about my business, loving God and, and, and evangelizing as I go, this man of God saw the potential and the purpose and the call of God on my life and has been sowing in that call of God uh, long before he was able to do it to the level that he can do it and where God has taken him as a result of the seed of faith that he put in the ground is, is immeasurable. He has received a return on investment that is immeasurable. So I'm not saying to, to just give to us because you need to. I'm saying if you sow into this building, if you sow into this expansion of God, make up in your mind, go and pray, ask God, God, should I sow into this ministry, into this building project? And how much? And let God tell you. Don't let man tell you. I will never tell you so a thousand US, 500 US, 100 US. I cannot tell you that and will not and will never. Unless God himself tell me clear, clear, clear. And him have to tell me like Gideon several times. Because that's not my heart. But God will tell you. You pray and ask him sincerely, God, I want this ministry to grow. I want this ministry truly represents you. And so I want to be a blessing to it. Bless me to be a blessing. Ask him and watch and see what he will do. But when he bless you, you better be faithful. Because so many people have asked God for blessing. It nearly happened to me. I've testified of this before. Sometimes God will bless you more than you expect. And you say, no, but I can't give pastor this much. I mean, God is saying, God has blessed me with a million US and, and, and God said to give him 10% or 20%. I, no, sir, that's too much money. That's too much money. No, 
if you ask God to bless you so that you can be a blessing, then you must make up in your mind to honor your covenant when God honors his. Amen? So ask God, man. Ask God. I dare you to ask God. If God gives you nothing, then you don't have anything to give. Don't give if God doesn't give to you. Because the Bible says he gives seed to the sower. So ask him to give you because you want to give to his house. You want to make sure that his ministry is blessed. Ask him. And if he gives it to you, then you give. If he doesn't, then you say, all right, God, you don't want me to give, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to give. I have to tell you the truth. Amen. If God gives you, then you can give. Because he's the one that gives seed to the sower. It is he who gives us the ability to create wealth. And so, I give you this opportunity for God to bless you for generations. As we seek to expand, to build his building, the place where he will tabernacle and be a blessing to people. The place where people will be buried, christened, baptized, where souls will be won where persons will be edified, exhorted, and comforted, taught, and matured in the righteousness, holiness, and truth of God. That is what you are sowing into. So ask God. Tell God a big number. Tell God, God, I'd like to sow 200,000 US. That means you need to give me 2 million US so I can sow 10% into the, into the, or, or half a million US out of it into, into that. Come on. Go ahead. Dream big. Prophesy big. Prophesy. Father, I thank you that I will get I will get millions of dollars that I can sow into this building that Liberty for Living Ministries wants to build. God is able and he will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. But if you don't have a watch this, can I teach you something just a little bit? If you don't have a history of giving, if you don't have a heart that give already, if when you have a little you are saying, no, I don't have enough to give. If you don't like to give, then it's probably going to be difficult for God to give you much. Because it's not about how much that allows someone to give. It's about heart. It's about heart. We don't give because we have. We give because we have the heart to give. And so you must have a heart to give before you even prophesy or declare that you will give because God knows our hearts. He knows that you're just trying to trick him. You want to get the whole heap and then you ride off into the sunset and act like you forget. We can't trick God. We cannot trick God. I told you, I can say it again. I was on my way into the bathroom at, the, at my workplace planning all the bills I'm going to pay with this money that I got. All the bills I'm going to pay off. And I heard the voice of God says, What about your pledge? What about your pledge? My pledge was more than half of the amount that I got. I can tell you because it's passed long, 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 long time now. I got 750,000 Jamaican dollars and my pledge was half a million. So I would have only been left with 250,000. Way, way more than half of what I got. And the Bible and the, and the voice of God says, what about your pledge? And I had to write the check. Couldn't delay because I made a pledge. God honors his portion. I had to honor mine. One of the indications of righteousness is a willingness to honor the pledge that we make. What we have set in our heart to do, do it. And so set in your heart a number, set in your heart a figure, and allow God to provide that figure. Just like I did. I didn't know where half a million dollars was going to come from. I didn't have that kind of money. Nowhere. Nowhere. Not even on my credit cards. But I said, Lord, I owe you half a million Jamaican dollars. That, and I wrote it on a paper and put it in the offering basket. And God provided it. Because it was his church, his ministry, his soil. Will you dear God? Will you write a figure on a piece of paper? If you live in America, write an American number. Write a big number. Write a number that will scare you. Write a number that you'll be afraid when God bless you to give it. 
write a number just write a number any number that comes to your spirit write it on a piece of paper and say god i owe you this out of what you bless me when you bless me fold it up and put it in your bible and prophesy over it father i thank you that i will sow exceedingly into this building project for liberty for living ministries Pastor, the pastors Wade will be like Abraham, like Moses. They will say, okay, all right, stop, stop, stop. We have, too, we have too much. We have to start being people of crazy faith. So come on, demonstrate crazy faith with me today. I'm not asking you to go clean out your bank account and send your last savings to me. No, I'm asking you to let's grow in crazy faith. Write a number on a piece of paper and say, God, this is what I want to give. The man of God said they need a million US to buy the place, buy the land or whatever. And let me tell you, that's I, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you that that might not be even enough. That might not even be enough because Pastor Marsh and I looked at a piece of land. It was just about three quarter acres on um, Old Hope Road. And it was, they were asking 4.5 million US for just the land. 4.5 million. So my, my asking for a million US from, from God to build this temple is, is probably, God is probably saying, brother, you're teaching faith and speaking faith and that's what you're asking for? That? That? So, hallelujah i'm ashamed to tell you that that may not be enough but guess what we're starting somewhere amen when we get the million us and we secure the property or we secure the building then we will look and say god you have done it before do it again because god had to defeat the red sea come on he had to get the people out of israel simple task first he had to keep them alive when they were hungry and complaining he had to be pillar of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. He had to give them water out of a rock. And all of this in preparation for the bigger thing, which is Canaan. He had to part the Red Sea that was calm in order to part the Jordan that was in spade. Come on, somebody. So there are times when God will give you the big thing one go. And there are times when he will build you up. I believe that this million US that we're asking for is just a build up because he wants to not only build our faith but your faith as well. What portion of this million US will you get from God and give back to God? Write it down by faith. Write it. Sign it and put it in your Bible and watch God. Watch God. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly hosts. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise Father. Glory to God. Most high. All right. Hallelujah. That's that. Um, just want to say that... Um, uh, one of our Fourth Watch family members sent me a video yesterday that was taken in a school, um, unfortunately, in the United States of America. Wonderful, great country, has many great churches, many great people of God. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's just a country that because of its love for Israel and because of its love for Jesus, Satan has, has basically set up shop in America and has sought to destroy America from the inside out. I know some people might be cringing because of patriotism and because of things there, but listen to me carefully. Patriotism is not about natural, it's about spirit. If your patriotism blinds your eyes to what Satan is doing, you are not a patriot. Can I tell you, if you're a Christian and Satan blinds your eyes to the things he's doing to your nation, but because of your love for your nation, you're saying, oh, my nation is fine. My nation is good. You're in denial. Then you are not a patriot. A patriot will accept the faults and flaws and things that are happening to their nation and seek to fix it. That's a real patriot. I am telling you, America needs fixing. Those of you who live there now, everywhere needs fixing. I can, I, this is not comparative. I'm not saying that to say Jamaica doesn't need fixing. 
but america is in deep trouble because satan realized that if he destroys america he destroys the free world are you hearing me so it's not comparative it's, i'm not saying that america is bad and jamaica is good no it's not that i'm saying to you that the responsibility like god said strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter get rid of the man out of the family and the family becomes a disgrace if the if the man be misplaced then the woman becomes displaced and if the woman becomes displaced the family becomes a disgrace so that's the principle if america the, the the bastion of democracy and truth and freedom for years and years and years gone by is destroyed from the core from the inside out you don't need a world war you just need to allow satan to eat out the core of the fabric of a society and it like a balloon with the air being sucked out of it it just goes and fails and dies so I'm not preaching negative against America. I love that country. A whole half of my family lives there. I have so many family members in America. It doesn't make sense. And I'm not talking about distant cousin. I'm talking about mother, sisters and brothers, many. So I don't want America to be destroyed. But I'm saying to you, those of you who live there have to start prophesying because things are happening that some people, especially Christians with a, a voice, especially Christians with power, especially Christians with knowledge, with the mind of Christ, you're going about your business making the almighty green dollar. And I'm telling you that if you continue to just focus on what you need for yourself, after a while, you will have food that you can't replace. When you eat it, you'll have money that has no value. It can't spend because Satan wants to make America like Haiti. He wants to destroy it from the inside out. And so he's gone after. That's right, Sister Karen. He wants it to self-destruct. He's going after the children in an aggressive way. After in, a, in an aggressive way. I saw a video yesterday with a, a, someone dressed up in a suit like Baphomet huge satanic horns and huge i mean goat horns and huge baphomet suit and they had young children looks like they were no older than five years old or four years old sitting in witch's outfit full black with only their face out with the cone like hat on their heads and they were sitting around a star like a ouija board young children and they were being taught how to summon demons. They were being taught how to summon demons. And we don't know today how many hundreds of thousands of schools these things are being allowed into. You send your children to school and they have witches garments, Ouija boards. Sodom and Gomorrah type environments that they are embracing in them for them and we don't know that's why I am trying to teach you at great pain at, at the risk of people being frustrated and say you know what I'm leaving this family because all pastor Wade want me to do is prophesy over myself when I want him to prophesy over me some people may leave, but I'm saying if you learn how to prophesy, you will prophesy against these things over your children, over your grandchildren, over other people's children. If your children are old and gone, if your children are, are adults now and doing their own thing, you still have a responsibility for the children in your community. You still have a responsibility when you see what's going on to prophesy. Father, I thank you that these children will not become witches and warlocks. They will not become demon, be contaminated by demons and devils. I reverse every curse that is being purported upon them by those satanic people in the ministries of education in the in the on the board of the schools in the as the principals and the teachers of the school father i shut them down i speak to their tongues and command their tongues to cleave to the roof of their mouths when they go to force these children and to cajole these children into becoming satanists father may the fire of god fall from heaven and burn up every ouija board burn up every 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 circle burn up every altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, if we don't become aggressive against the works of Satan, an entire generation, because they're going after them no matter how young now, 
they're going after them. I saw someone was telling me one of the pastors in pastors meeting yesterday was telling me that he saw a video where some um what they call them um drag queen uh yeah the drag thing i don't know about these things that that kind of way but he said that some drug person um went into some school kindergarten or basic school uh one of those where the children some of the children were crawling around on hands and knees couldn't even walk it and and this this person was um in their skimpy thing almost no clothes um dancing for the children and telling them they come to teach them how to dance and they're twerking or whatever you call that working there behind and doing all kinds of stuff and these things are happening to your children in daycare and you don't even know they're trying to destroy America and the world from the inside out. And Christians are going about their business, praying in tongues, worshipping and carrying on. And we're not prophesying over our nation. We're not prophesying over our children. We're not prophesying that our children are the seed of the righteous. We're not prophesying that no weapon formed against our children will prosper. And every tongue that rises against them in judgment is condemned. We're not prophesying that our children's eyes shall not see what Satan shows them, but what God shows them. Our children's ears shall not hear what Lucifer and his agents say, but will hear the word of God and be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I might be public enemy number one. I might be public enemy number one, but I'm not going to shut up until, by God's grace, I have created enough warriors, even 300, to fight the battle of God, like Gideon and his army. That's my mission. That's my mandate. And I will not fail. And so some persons may, may misunderstand. They may say, you know, I'm not into that. I want the nice things. I want the nice things. I, I, I don't want to hear that. There are many other places, people of God, with every respect and love in the world, that you can go and hear the nice things. Oh, you are so beautiful today. God is going to bless you. Nothing is going to happen to you. You're going to be anointed and appointed. Your children are blessed. There are places you can go and hear that. And that's fine. No issue. If that's what you need, if that's where you are, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm happy for you. May God bless you. But you come here, you're going to learn how to war. Because there's a war going on. And hiding our head in the sand is not going to stop that war. Hiding under our beds or in our house with grills and, and, and cameras and all these things is not going to stop that war. The only thing that's going to stop that war is when we win. Are you hearing me? When we defeat sin. The only thing that's going to stop that war. Solomon had peace because David won the battles. Hallelujah. The army of Israel was not overrun by the Philistines because David killed Goliath. We have to defeat the enemy in order to have peace. You're not going to have peace by what a man say to you. You're going to have peace because of what you do for God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So get ready, guys. Put on your armor, man, and go to war. It's not about me. It's about us as a team, as a family. And so, Lord, I pray for the United States of America today. I prophesy to the, 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 the construct of that nation. And I say, Lord, raise up by fire. Raise up by fire some Christians that are not just going around saying, this is my Bible, I am what it says I am. But they say, this is my sword. And I go to war like David with my sword. I cut off every head of every serpent that come against my nation. I declare and decree that the, the, the spirit of Goliath shall not take the United States of America, shall not take the United Kingdom, shall not take Canada. Come on, people of God get wicked get hey, get powerful get anointed get serious stop just seeing your Bible as something that says who you are and see your Bible as something that tells you what you can do 
who you are is fine. But after you know who you are, what next? It also tells you what you can do. We are more than conquerors. We have power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. We carry a double-edged sword that cuts through joint and marrow, soul and spirit. Let's start using the weapons of our warfare that is not carnal, but mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. There's a reason why God gave us the whole armor from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. With the shield of faith to quench fiery darts and the sword of the spirit to kill the enemies of God's kingdom. There's a reason because there is a war. You've signed up, so let's fight. Let's fight because victory is already assured. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus, and victory belongs to us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Take your communion and let's pray. We're out of time. Hallelujah. I hope that you were blessed and encouraged this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you, we honor you, we adore you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, that by faith, we will overcome every obstacle, every plot, plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy. I thank you, Lord, that our nations shall not die because we are on the wall. America shall not perish because we are on the wall. England, Canada shall not perish because we are on the wall. Those nations who have sworn by their constitution, by their governmental policies, that they will uphold freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of the people. I thank you, Lord, that Satan shall not steal these freedoms by infiltrating the core of the structure. We uproot them. Every satanic plant in the governmental systems designed to destroy the core of the nations of the world. Father, we declare exposure. We declare exposure and an uprooting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eject them, O God Almighty, like a James Bond car. Eject them, O God, that they will go find their place in hell or repent and turn and find their place in heaven in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, as we have spoken, as we have, as we have preached, as we have declared your word, as we have prophesied, we now eat your body and drink your blood as a seal for that which has gone forth to bring glory to your name. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems that it will be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took, a, took the cup, he blessed it and took a sup, and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for holding on. To the spirit of God like Jacob held on to the angel. Thank you that we will not let go until God has done what he has promised to do for us, in us, and through us and our families. In the name of Jesus Christ, we remain resolute. We will not shrink back. We will not compromise. We will press towards the mark of the high calling of God because that's what Fourth Watch family means and that's what we do. Amen. Blessings to you. Hallelujah.
Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the whole Arona too. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Rowan Wade saying, have a super cali, fragilistic, espiali, docious day. God's way. Love you guys. God bless you. Angels have been dispatched to go with you and to protect you from all harm and danger, plots and schemes and traps of the enemy. And it is well. It is well. Good news. I prophesy for you today. Good news. Receive it. Believe it. And it shall be so. In Jesus name have a great one remember to do something good for someone today be a blessing in any way that you can and God will reward you and honor you for it amen love you guys bye oh